Beta Pictoris is fairly unremarkable as far as stars in our night sky go. It's a dim, fourth-magnitude star in the constellation Pictor, making it difficult to see without a telescope. However, a deeper look into the star and its surroundings reveals something incredible. Beta Pictoris is currently moving away from the Earth at about 20 kilometers per second. Another star, Eta Telescopii, is moving at nearly the same speed and direction as Beta Pictoris. So are 51 Eridani, AU Microscopii, and 13 other stellar systems. This is too unlikely to be a coincidence, so what's happening? To make things weirder, these 17 systems, including Beta Pictoris, are estimated to be about the same age, between 12 and 20 million years old. So, it's becoming clear that these systems all have a common origin and formed together. This is the Beta Pictoris Moving Group, a collection of 17 stellar systems that all form together and haven't dispersed throughout the galaxy yet. Stars typically form in clusters, resulting in groups of them moving through the galaxy together when they're young. The Beta Pictoris Moving Group is the closest of these young moving groups to Earth, and so is one of the most studied. This is an overview of some of the most interesting stars and planets in the moving group. Because of their young age, these planetary systems are still in the process of forming, and many of the stars have huge protoplanetary disks around them where new planets form. Beta Pictoris itself has two known planets. Beta Pictoris b is the larger of the two, being about 13 times the size of Jupiter, and the second planet, Beta Pictoris c, is about 10 times bigger than Jupiter. Both planets are clearing their way through Beta Pictoris's giant protoplanetary disk, but their uniqueness doesn't end there. Beta Pictoris b is particularly interesting because of how fast it rotates. It's one of the very few exoplanets that has a known day length. The planet's day has been measured at just about 8.1 hours long, which is the shortest known day of any planet so far. Beta Pictoris b has also been directly imaged orbiting Beta Pictoris, as seen in this time lapse. 51 Eridani b, another planet orbiting the large star 51 Eridani, has also been directly imaged. Beta Pictoris has also been found to host the first discovered comets outside the solar system. As the test telescope was observing Beta Pictoris, it found that the star was dimming strangely, which was best explained by evaporating comets passing in front of the star. The environment around Beta Pictoris is unlike anything we have in the solar system, but there are still 16 other stars in the moving group. Despite the Beta Pictoris moving group being named after Beta Pictoris, Eta Telescopii is the largest member, being 3.2 times as massive as the Sun. Like Beta Pictoris, Eta Telescopia is also surrounded by a protoplanetary disk, and there's also evidence for an asteroid belt about four astronomical units away from the star. The star also has a directly imaged brown dwarf orbiting at a distance of 192 AU, which is anywhere between 20 and 50 times the size of Jupiter. But Eta Telescopia's list of companions doesn't end there, as another star, HD 181327, is on a very far orbit away from the star. HD 181327 itself also has a protoplanetary disk that cuts off sharply, indicating the presence of a large planet. One of the most interesting stars of the moving group is HD 172555. Its protoplanetary disk has an unusual composition, including chemicals that form from freezing magma or vaporizing rock. This isn't seen in any other protoplanetary disk in the moving group, indicating that something special must have happened in the HD 172555 system. As it turns out, the best explanation for this strange disk composition is a planetary collision. In this theory, an object at least the size of the moon hit an object at least as big as Mercury, destroying the smaller object and covering the system in molten debris. In 2021, a ring of carbon monoxide around the star was discovered, which likely came from the destroyed atmospheres of the planets that collided. This gives even more evidence that a massive planetary collision must have happened in HD 172555, it means that the object that survived the collision must still be in the system somewhere. So far, the planetary collision hypothesis is the best explanation for what's going on in HD 172555. AU Microscopii is one of the closest systems part of the moving group to Earth, only 31.7 light years away. It's a red dwarf too small to be seen without a telescope, but it's one of the most interesting stars of the group, hosting three known planets with strong evidence for a fourth. The first two planets, AU Microscopii b and c, are both ice giants orbiting far closer to AU Microscopii than Mercury orbits the Sun. But the third planet, AU Microscopii d, orbits in between the two ice giants and is very similar to Earth in size. Because of the close distance to Earth, and because the AU Microscopii planets transit their star, this system is a prime candidate for studying how planetary systems form, and even how Earth itself formed. AU Microscopii d is too close to its star to be habitable, 
but still an Earth analog in size and could be studied to see what early Earth might have been like. The James Webb Space Telescope has already imaged the protoplanetary disk of AU Microscopii, and will study the planets themselves in the future. The Beta Pictoris moving group is about 12 million years old, and so hasn't had time to disperse yet, but as the group ages, the stars will slowly drift further apart on their own path through the galaxy. The Sun itself very likely used to be part of a moving group like Beta Pictoris, but as the stars aged, the group eventually disintegrated. This is the fate of all moving groups, since the gravitational forces of the stars aren't enough to keep it together. But for now, the Beta Pictoris moving group remains the closest young moving group to Earth, and an amazing opportunity to study over a dozen star systems to see how planets form in real time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, check out my other videos about exoplanets, as well as my colonization of the solar system series.